Hi guys, it's Cindy from Cindy's Thrifting again. Whoops, we're a little bit crooked. Let me fix that. Uh, okay, that looks a little bit better. So today I want to try it standing up. Never did this, I don't think. Maybe once or twice, I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up and always comment. It helps the videos. Um, I'm coming back from working a full-time job to just doing reselling again. So I really appreciate you guys um, backing me up and looking at my videos a little bit and maybe spreading the word that, you know, go subscribe to Cindy Thrifting again because she's throwing up videos and going to have uh, lots of live sales and going back on eBay. So I've done some hauling, of course, to get ready for all this. And I wanted to share with you the things I have. So just like yesterday, I'm gonna have about 10 things to show you and share with you. And you guys can comment what's your favorite under the comments. And thanks for giving me a thumbs up too while you're at it. <laughs> so anyway, let's get to it. You know, guys, I love dishes. And I found this one in the Goodwill by Maple Shade, New Jersey, or in Maple Shade, New Jersey, I should say. So it is made in Germany. It does look like it's painted to me. It's like a side dish bowl, um, serving bowl, you know, about nine inches or so. It's got the beautiful roses. I don't think it's signed. I didn't see a signature. But I do see that, you know, it's made in Germany. So you can see that. And thanks for joining me today. If there's any sellers out there that would like to do a live sale with me, I would be really grateful. Um, just get in touch with me through um, Instagram. You can message me and uh, we can do a live sale together sometime. Next thing up I have is this cute little pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern. Check out that brass handle. Isn't that pretty? When you look at this, you, you can just tell, you know, it's made better. Has the gold leafing on it. So what, who do you think made this? Well, I looked at it and thought Lennox right away. And I was right says Lennox. So that's that one. Then I have this beautiful milk glass uh, planter. And this planter um, has some leaves and sort of looks like a tulip in the middle and is uh, imperial glass. I should have brought my magnifying glass out, I forgot. But that little symbol is right there. There it is, you can catch it. I think I have it sideways, but nonetheless, there it is, Imperial Glass. This stands about mm, six inches tall by the widest point is probably about four inches wide. Um, and I will have this on a live sale very shortly. Here's a piece of glass that I couldn't walk away from. Sorry you're seeing my back, but my couch is like right there. So I have to go and get the next item. So bear with me. Maybe next time I'll try to put a table beside me. So this piece of glass is really nice. Um, it has a lot of gold in it. Gold and cream. Isn't that gorgeous? I just absolutely love this. This will go with almost any decor and uh, would fit in rather nicely. That's the whole thing. It does not have a maker's mark. It does have um, a little bit of remnants of the marker that they use to write the price with, but I scrubbed that pretty well. There you go. So that's just for like um, a tea light, I would think. 
or if you just want to put um use it as a little tiny vase and put some dried flowers in it or something that would look nice too or silk flowers or just leave it as it is and just set it up there nice and simple then we have the purple glass vase for those who like purple this is purple with the clear dots you can even feel the texture of the clear dots. I just love that. It's probably a good 12 inches tall and its widest point is probably about four inches wide. And it has a beautiful bottom, nice and shiny. I don't know who made this. I haven't come across anything that was made like this yet. Um, I'm trying to do some comparison shopping on eBay and Etsy, trying to find who made it. Uh, and I haven't been successful yet, so still looking. Then we have this gorgeous, gorgeous little bowl. I don't know what this was used for, but take a look at this. Isn't it pretty? Ah, uh, love it. It's all about that painting on there. The design of the dish, kind of like a boat style. Gold handles, the beautiful pink roses and that green, that minty green behind it. It's not even really a minty green. It's more uh, seafoam green maybe. Was that what you would call it, seafoam green? I really like this. I found this at the red, white, and blue for a minimal charge. And let's see, it was made. Oh, I can't read this one. It was made in, well, it says TNT, so I think that's Japan. Anywho, I'll show you that. Maybe you can see it better. Can you see that? T and T. Mm, I don't know. Have to get the magnifying glass out for next time. And then there's some carved in initials and it says 1919. So I don't know if that's when someone got it. GS 1919. You see that? I think that's really cool too. So that's a beautiful, it's mother of pearl on the inside too. It doesn't capture too well on film or on the video, but that mother of pearl finish, just when you look down at it, is really gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Gotta love it. Then we have a set of cups if you like the seashore or if you just want something different for the summertime i had a have a set of four of these from the goodwill and they are called coquill by fitz and floyd and it's m c m l x x v i so that's 50 60 75 76 right 1976 made in japan i'll let you all see that And then the design goes from the conch shell. I don't know what kind of shell this is called. And then that, all different kinds of seashells, clam shell, and a pretty little handle to boot. And then it's like a pink on the inside. So if you wanna go really retro for this season coming up, here you go. And like I said, I do have four, um, four cups for you. It's a set of four and they're all the same. No chips. This one's a little bit rough right here, but it's not a chip. It's fine. Yeah, that's good. Let me see the other two. 
Here's the other two. Nope, no chips. The other two. So that's a set of four and I'll be having those in a live sale. All this stuff will also be on my eBay. So you guys can shop on my eBay. That's also Cindy Swifton again. Um, now give me some time because I'm gonna start doing it today. I wasn't gonna do it last night, night, <clears throat> excuse me, but I got into doing some cleaning. So uh, today is my day though. I'm, I'm starting today, putting them in and you'll see everything popping up. And then if I have a live sale and it sells, I'll just take it off of eBay is what I figure. So that's those, all four. Then here's another lovely vase, teal. Isn't that cool? Now this one sets a little bit higher. This is probably newer, I don't know. It might be old, but it has more of a new look to me. But um, nonetheless, it's sort of uh, swirled teal. It's not like pure teal. You can kind of see the clearness and the teal going through it. Like a mottled look, you know what I mean? It does have sort of like small panels, elongated panels also. So if you just put it in the light, if you just like all your glass by the sunshine or some lights overhead, you will get that uh, glitter off of it, you know. And then it has some white on the bottom to set it off and some white on top to set it off. Um, and that's the way that looks. And then the bottom, it is rough. It is rough on the bottom, a rough ponto. So it's probably not the best glass, but how often do you see that color? That's what I loved. I just love that color. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, there's one little bubble in there. I see a little bubble. You see that little bubble? You probably can't see it. Anyway, I thought that was really nice. And that's about, mm, how tall would that be? That's probably like 14 inches, I would think. 14 inches high. Yeah. I really like this one. You just don't see that color much. So when you see it, it's like, ooh. <laughs> And again, I would love to keep it, but not gonna, not gonna. There's a dark mark here. I don't know what that is. Like something got on the glass and it didn't come out. You see it? it doesn't appear to be a um, break. It's like something stuck on there. <laughs> huh. But look at that, that's gorgeous. That would look beautiful with some white flowers, like white mums in there or lilies. Oh my goodness, lilies would look so pretty in there. I just love flowers. Comment below, what's your favorite flower? <laughs> Give me some comments. What's your favorite flower? I love lilies because they come in so many different colors. And, um, well, everybody likes roses, I guess. I like the um, bleeding hearts. Have you ever seen those? I've never lived in a shady place though, so I could never grow those. Um, what else? Tulips, tulips is one of my favorite, but they don't last very long. Okay, and then we have one more piece of glass. And this is a blue, a little blue basket. And I did find one of these before and I did sell it to someone. Um, I can't remember exactly who I sold it to, but I did sell it to someone. And this one has the little dots, just like that one. And it's a beautiful blue color. Isn't that cute? I just loved it. So even though I had it before, I figured, hey, Maybe somebody else would like it. So, and you can always put, you know, lifesavers in there, dinner mints. Um, you could have it in the bathroom for some little pretty soaps or little tubes of lotion or whatever you have laying around. 
Isn't that cute? Not sure who makes this either. That's the kind of bottom it has. If you have any idea, please help me out and comment below. And then I thought I'd try something different. I got one of those bags of, you know, they put a bunch of little things in the bag. And I said, I'm gonna try a, um, Little People. Remember Little People from Fisher Price? So these are the ones I got. I'll just show them to you real fast. Um, if you're not interested, you can just say goodbye now. That's fine, I understand. Um, but here's a little duck that looks like he's flying. I'm not sure what that's to, but I think he's so cute. I'm gonna list them on eBay and see if anyone would buy them. Oh, he does have a W there. And then I have an elephant. <laughs> e for elephant. He's cute. And then I have um, a vulture. V for vulture. These might be a circus or zoo ones, I'm not sure. I'm not gonna attempt to read the year because I don't have my magnifying glass. Here's a little parrot. Isn't he cute? A little bit of color off the beak, or maybe it's supposed to be like that. It looks like a little red on his beak. <laughs> He's cute. And I have an octopus. I'm not sure. And this might not be little people. This might be just a squeezy toy. And another little bird. Um, I think this is a pelican, maybe? Pelican. And it says Fisher Price Little People on the back. And then I have a little tiger. He's cute. And I have a little buffalo. Uh, nope, I guess it's a yak. Y for yak. Now, he was drawn on a little bit, so I'll have to put that in the comments on eBay. And then a giraffe. He's cute. G for giraffe. <laughs> and what is this? Mm, a horse, I guess. A horse. And it says Fisher Price back there. And then we have a little Native American or an Indian, I would say, holding a basket of something. She's cute. And then we have a turtle. <laughs> I don't think he's a little people either. He has that W also on there. So thanks for joining me today. Again, put your favorite item on the comments below. I'll be uh, advertising on Instagram when my live sale is going to be next week. I haven't decided which day yet. I'm kind of eeny, meeny, miny, mowing it. So if you have any ideas, write it down in the comment. Maybe Tuesday night at 6 o'clock or whatever. <laughs> okay, I'll see you next time. You all take care now. Bye.